Welcome to Home Sweet Home Cooking. I am your host Rocky in my mother's kitchen. However, it is the fall. It is Sunday. It is football. My mom has abandoned me. She's thrown me to the wolves. She's watching football, so she won't be cooking, but she will be here for the taste test, I'm sure. So, what are we doing today? If you didn't read the title, we are doing another Southern Essentials. And what this is, is a list of, I did a survey on a Southern Cooking Facebook group. What are your top 10 essential Southern dishes that every Southern cook should know? And I compiled a bunch of them together and I took the top 20 of those and made a list. There was over 100 items on the list. These are the top 20 and it was a big jump from 20 down further. So these were pretty much the solid top 20s. And coming in at number 16 for the Southern Essential is a potato salad. So I asked again, what makes a potato salad Southern? And I got a few different answers, but again, there was a few items that were at the very top, which stand out from what the majority of people say should go on a southern potato salad. One is relish, two is hard boiled eggs, and three is mustard. So outside of that, I can play with it a little bit and it'll still be considered a southern style potato salad. But as far as potato goes, I got red taters. Why red taters? Russet potatoes are great for french fries. They're great for baked potato because they're fluffy. So when you bite into them, they fall apart nice and tender. You don't want that potato salad. You want a potato when it boils, it stays together, or otherwise you're gonna have mashed potato salad. Some people actually do that. They make the potato salad and they mash it together. That's not the kind of potato salad that I grew up on. That's not the kind of potato salad that I want. So red potatoes are gonna stand up a little bit better to the boil process. You can use Yukons or yellows, they're fine, they're an intermediate, they can go either way. So I do like the goldens, the, the yellows, the Yukon golds, whatever you want to call them, but today I'm using reds. Um, I'm going to get these going in a boil, and I got the water just started to boil. I'm not going to peel them, I'm going to throw them in with the skins on, and you'll see why in a moment. But once these get boiled, I'll get this all set up, we'll come back and we'll put together a Southern Essentials potato salad, number 16 on the Southern Essentials list. Be right back. Potatoes are boiled, uh, let them cool down just a little bit. Not cold, they're still quite warm. You want them warm because um, when you peel them, what basically is just going to scrape your knife along the skin and the skin's going to come off. If you peel them before, you can end up losing a lot of potato. This way, you save as much potato as you can. Now you want to do it, you don't want to burn your hands. Um, these are a little hot yet. Um, so um, <laughs> I should let them cool down a little further, but I got another recipe to do yet today before we get to supper. So I am going ahead and doing them while they're warm. And I'm going to dice them up to whatever size you want. I like a little bit bigger bite in my potato salad. So mine are a little bit chunkier. Cut them to the size you want. Now, uh, that is done. So what we're going to do in a mixing bowl, start with your taters. Might not even use all these. And I'm gonna use all of them. And some hard boiled egg. Calls, this recipe calls for six. I shorted a little bit because I don't know if I want all six in there. Uh, I saved a couple of the middles that I sliced out with the yolks for presentation later. Uh, what else we got here? The recipe calls for got potatoes, got the eggs, one and a half cup. Thinly sliced green onion, one quarter cup chopped sweet pickles, so sweet relish. I've got actually, I'm using, uh, it's one eighth cup sweet relish, one eighth cup dill relish. I want a little bit of dill flavor in mine. Well, like I said, that's one of the, the things, our boiled eggs and the, the relish are what people said make it southern. 
and one teaspoon prepared mustard. I'm using again half yellow mustard and half of a Dijon mustard. That's just personal choice. One teaspoon of celery seed. A lot of um, potato salad recipes are going to call for celery diced and onion diced. Now one thing my mom has noticed when she's after she's moved down here, her potato salads turn out wet after the day uh, for the next day. So we're, I'm wondering if it's because of the, well we know it's the moisture coming out of the celery and out of the onion. So if mine stays dry and doesn't get wet from the moisture coming out, might be on to something here for her to do. So that's one teaspoon of celery seed, one, uh, salt and pepper to taste. That's some fresh cracked pepper, and some salt. And last but not least, is going to be one cup of mayonnaise. And this was for five potatoes worth. So you can get this stirred in. Once it's stirred in, we'll be right back and we'll set this up on top for the presentation. Oh, before I get it all the way stirred in, uh, this is that's the basic recipe for the southern um, style. Uh, potato salad. I'm gonna add. I like a little bit of um, a little bit of bite to mine. A little bit of a I don't know sour, uh, bitter, whatever you want to call it. But I'm gonna put a little bit of vinegar in mine. It's a rice vinegar that I'm gonna put in. Maybe a tablespoon. That's it. Uh, my mom uses a red wine in hers. A red wine vinegar. We use white wine vinegar. We use apple cider vinegar. Uh, it just adds a little bit more, a little zip, a little tang to it. Um, can't really describe it, but that's why I like it. So I'm gonna get the stirred, and then we'll be back for the put the slices on top of the presentation. Got it mixed in pretty good. Now I'm just gonna layer the rings of hard boiling on top. If you wanted to put a little more color on there, you could sprinkle a little bit of paprika if you wanted. That would be fine. Need to let it cool, so I'm gonna put this in the fridge for, well, two hours it looks like before we eat. So it's gonna go get chilled, and we'll be back for the taste test when we're ready to eat. Now I know this potato salad, oh, by the way, my mom showed up. Football was still playing, but there's food getting ready to be served, so of course she's gonna be here. Uh, this potato salad is not her style potato salad. This is not, uh, it, slightly similar to hers. Um, I know it's only been a few hours, but there's definitely no water showing up, so. Um, no extra liquid coming from the onion and because we use a green onion instead of white onion and uh, so that's a good thing. And celery seed and instead of celery. celery seed instead of celery. So this one may actually hold up better for her. She may have to adopt part of this recipe than hers at least. Yeah, mine always gets runny. Uh, but this is with the southern style with the um, the relish, the hard boiled eggs, and the mustard is, like I said, what I found from what most people agreed upon and what came up most common is it has to be in a southern style potato salad. So I've already had a taste of it just to make sure that the seasoning levels were right. I liked it. Let's see if I still like it after it sat for a couple hours. I like that. Mm -hmm. um, I know my, what my mom makes is what I'm used to. That's what I grew up on. I'll always like that. But I think I like this as much. Um, this, it doesn't have the crisp crunch that you have from having the onions and the celery in it for sure. So it's missing, it's a, flavor, yeah. it's good. It's a missing a little bit of that crunch texture. So if you like the texture in yours, this might not work for you. But I can taste a little bit of the dill and a little bit of the sweet relish that mixed half and half. I can just taste the vinegar that I put in there. I can taste the celery salt or the celery seed and the onion. All the flavors are there. Um, I do like this. Um, as far as the southern potato salad goes, this one I would give a pass. Uh huh. I'm gonna have a big plate of that. We made um, did a macaroni and cheese recipe as well. I wasn't 100% satisfied with that. I'm gonna get eaten, but I'm gonna do another one for the southern essentials. Um, the mac and cheese one. I'm sorry, the potato salad came in at number 16. So I can cross number 16 off the list for Southern Essentials. Um, a couple of things, like what, what would you do different to this? Me? Yeah, anything? No, actually, actually it's good the way it is. Okay. Trick is gonna see if my dad will eat it. 
I went over. Oh, the, I went over the ingredients with him before I made it. He said there's nothing in there that he wouldn't eat. So uh, we'll see if he likes it or not. Okay, the grits can go up too. Oh, yeah, I took the grits off the other day. I mean, no, no, no. That mac and cheese. Oh, you got to do it again. Yeah. So uh, we're getting there. We're about halfway through the list. Um, what I would do different? Maybe a little more onion in here. The, the well, things. after it sits, it's going to get more flavor too. Yeah, but I think I'll put a little more onion in there. Maybe a um, little cayenne pepper on top for color instead of paprika. I didn't put paprika on it, but I might just put a little bit of cayenne pepper on top for a little bit of heat, or even uh, some um, chipotle powder in it or on it. But I think that's pretty good. It is. So uh, we have mac and cheese, and we have potato salad, and we have a pork roast that we did. Uh, my mom bought an electric smoker, and we've got a nice meal coming up. We got baked beans in the oven, so we'll have ourselves a little feast here and. Um, get some more of these Southern Essential recipes. I don't know which one I'm gonna do next. I know I've got an octave banana pudding off there sometime. Um, she's not thrilled about that. Um, I'll, do, I'll come over and do that when she's not here sometime. <laughs> um, the sweet tea, that I could probably back that one up pretty easy. So I might do sweet tea and banana pudding for the next two because those will be pretty easy. So uh, stay tuned for a couple more of the Southern Essentials. And we again, thank you for watching. Thank you for all of our new subscribers for joining us. We're glad to have you and I hope that you can uh, share some of your recipes down below. I've uh, been reading a bunch of the comments and replying. I got behind a little bit. I didn't realize how fast the channel grew there for a minute, so I got a little behind in my comments, but I should have caught up on most of that. Uh, thank you for your comments. Um, thank you for the likes, the shares, subscribes, and we hope to see you again, and please check us out on our next video. Good night. Have a good night.